Here are the um, Westling socket trays uh, that I ordered. Uh, I'm going to show you guys these and uh, show you guys what I'm going to do with them. I ordered the set, uh, which gives you the quarter inch ones in standard and metric, gives you the three eighths in standard and metric, and then you get the quarter inch ones, which you get two of each. And then I went ahead and ordered two of the universal ones. This one is specifically made for Torx bits because it comes with quarter inch dowels and then it comes with three eighths inch dowels for the <coughs> bigger stuff. So, and then I ordered another one for these um, lug nut sockets that I have. Um, that way uh, they're protective. That way, if you have nice wheels, it'll mess them up. But I wanted to show you guys these and give you guys my thoughts after I go ahead and put them in my toolbox and reorganize my sockets. Um, I can show you what I'm working with in my drawer for now, and um, then we'll get uh, some more uh, video when I get the sockets and everything all switched over to these. Alright, so this is my Milwaukee box that I'm going to be putting those in. Um, I have these cobalt ones that I've been using, um, which have been working okay, but uh, you can see there's a lot of wasted space here and here and here. Um, and part of that's just because, you know, they didn't come with an unlimited number of these little black things, these little pegs that are, you know, you can slide them around and whatnot to get your tools just right, but it only came with so many, and of course, you know, cobalt switches things around a lot, so I don't even think they make these anymore, but they are magnetic, so you can stick them wherever, which is kind of handy, but, um, you know, if you needed to take it out to <clears throat> uh, the vehicle you're working on or your trailer or whatever, um, you could just do that or if you were trying to hang them in a truck toolbox like that you have in the back of your bed or anything like that that would be good but I'm gonna put those Westling socket trays in here and um, get all this reorganized and then I also have some new Tecton sockets um, I've got a full uh, set of the half inch deep sockets and the three eighths inch deep sockets and we're gonna get those set up on some future Westling socket trays once I get some more uh, shipped in and then uh, I'm also gonna do a video about the Tecton sockets if you wanna um, click on the link in the description and uh, you'll be able to see that video as well for those um, I did just get those in but wanted to show them to you in person and let you know why I got them and uh, you know what uh, what use they bring to me so we'll be back when I get all this switched over to the new socket trays okay I was setting up these trays and um, I've come across a few things I wanted to point out and um, see if uh, you know anyone can recommend anything as far as storage ideas because a few things I noticed that I'm going to run into is the depth of this drawer is not extremely long so you can't take this metric 3 8 and put it long long ways in here it just just barely doesn't fit um, and then so if you wanted to leave them like this and you wanted to have maybe your chrome sockets over here and your impact sockets over here. These metric uh, half inch ones, you wouldn't be able to get four of them wide in this box. Um, this is only a 46 inch wide box and so you'd be short here so you're gonna have to figure out some kind of organizational thing over here on this side uh, as far as how to keep these things organized because you'd be able to fit four of the standards back there but you just wouldn't be able to fit four of these uh, metric ones only three and then something I also noticed 
as far as the quality of these things is they they do look really good <clears throat> and I do have sockets on some of them and uh, you know I think they'll be just fine for this box because it's not going to move around a lot and you know just closing the box it has soft clothes so that's not a huge deal and then when you open them up you know that they're not going to go anywhere so but I'll show you once all the sockets are in there um, but I did notice, you know, all of them come labeled right here, half inch, standard, standard, on both of these. And then, of course, these are the smaller sizes, the larger sizes, smaller, large, and then these just run small to large, and small to large is here as well. But as you can see on mine, I don't know if this is just a hiccup or whatnot, but it says half inch standard, and it has Wesling machine on there, Wesling machine half inch standard, and it says it on this half inch metric one. But you get over here to this one, and there's nothing on there. No labeling or anything. At least it did come with the numbers, um, so I'm not sure what happened with that. Maybe it's supposed to be like that, maybe it's not, not sure. But the rest of them are fine, and um, you know, when you get them in, you know, you can see the back, the way it looks. I'm not sure if it's, you know, whatever. I'm not too concerned about that, <clears throat> which is not a big deal, but. Um, other than that, they seem to be in pretty good shape, and uh, I do like the way they look. I chose the red and the blue, um, just because it was, you know, seemed like what most people would get. And I'm not very picky about, you know, what colors they are. Um, you know, if I had a <clears throat> different color toolbox, you know, maybe I'd like to match the color. You know, if you have like a snap-on box, and you get like the green or the blue or something like that maybe you'd want it um i definitely did want some color differences it's just that way as soon as you open the, the drawer you can just say you know boom and whichever colors you choose they have blue red like a neon green they have a black and i think they have one other color I'm not 100 percent sure of what it was uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but they all seem like they'd be pretty good colors. I think it's just a personal preference there. All right, so here the trays are with just the chrome sockets that I have. Um, of course, I don't have complete sets for everything, um, and these socket trays are labeled by exact letter sizes, and you know some of them overlap um, for smaller things like the stuff I don't have here is going to be here and you know the stuff I don't have here is going to be here in a 3 8 size instead of the half inch size um, of course I don't have any half inch deep sockets um, I've never really had to use them um, I do want to get them um, <clears throat> but I've always been able to use these 3 8 ones and been able to do pretty much everything I've needed to do uh, so far, but um, I don't, I'm not a full mechanic, so that's not something that's been top priority. Um, I've just been steadily upgrading. I used to have just a little small plain Jane uh, Craftsman toolbox, and so I got the Milwaukee one, and it's been filling up fast with stuff. Um, and so here are these again. Um, Something I noticed with the half inch universal one is when you get into bigger socket sizes, um, you're not going to be able to fit them side by side or even in the back here. It's not going to fit. They don't doesn't fit. So they'll have to be staggered when you get to these bigger sizes, but like these smaller ones would fit up to a certain size um, but part of that's because these pins are all they're all equally spaced apart um, so again it's supposed to be for odds and ends so like if you had a bunch of um, <clears throat> adapters like extensions or adapters and stuff like that so you know your little size change adapters they would fit on there just fine or if you just had, you know, the random socket here and there, or you wanted to put your extensions on there, 
Obviously you wouldn't be able to put too many of them since these half inch ones are pretty large. But those would fit and you know that would work out pretty good. Um, but again, for a toolbox like this, I can't even close it with that. So that's probably not the best option for one of these trays. Um, you know, I have everything pretty much separate over here in another drawer. Issues I'm going to have with a box like this is trying to fit, find a space for my ratchets and extensions, plus still having the ability to, um, you know, find somewhere to put my torque wrench. So <clears throat> I do have a torque wrench. It sits, you know, my half inch one sits in this box. Um, and, you know, inside of the box, to you know kind of keep it a little bit protected it's quite large so you know I couldn't it's a, it's a limiting factor of where you can put it um, and this big drawer is the biggest the longest drawer I have and uh, you know it only fits in this drawer flat um, I could put it in this lower drawer down here <coughs> But, uh, you know, it would have to go at a sharp angle. Um, and so I may have to see about organizing this thing out. That way it'll fit in here uh, to some capacity. Because I'd like to leave it in the box. Um, just for the sheer fact that, you know, in case anyone decides to randomly pick it up. But um, this is a Armstrong Tools. Let's see. Focus in on it. Armstrong tools. They make industrial stuff, and this goes from 25 to 250. So I like it. It works good. It's got this nice aluminum knurled grip. That way you can get your grip on it, and then uh, you know just a nice look to it. It was pretty expensive, but uh, I don't. It's not quite up to the par of. Uh, snap on price, but uh, that doesn't mean that it doesn't work. Um, so, I have to find somewhere I'm going to put this. And then I also, um, like I said, I'm going to have to organize out all my impacts uh, to see about fitting them over here. And then I'll have to see, <clears throat> you know, if there's any space down here I can maybe keep extensions down here kind of somewhat out of the way or if this whole drawer might become a, a socket drawer um, but you know deep sockets do fit on these trays and uh, the drawer will close um, part of the issue I was having finding socket trays for a toolbox like this was the depth of this drawer it's not very deep so you know these ones fit fine but when you get into a large socket like that you can see that it pretty much just squeaks on by when you go to close the box. But they do fit, and so part of that issue uh, has kind of been resolved because you can see how thin these are compared to these other ones I had. Um, you know, you are already sitting up here, which is probably almost half an inch to from the bottom of this to here um, and then you still have to put the socket on top of it so if you put this same socket that barely fits on there you can't close the drawer with something like this and I don't know if this thing is unnaturally tall I think it might just be the way the half inch sockets kinda are um, you know obviously they fit on here but I would run into an issue of that. If I did put my deep sockets back here, I would run into that issue as well, just trying to get it on and off with something this large. Now, let me get out a, um, uh, impact socket and see, I'm going to put those along the back back there and then I'll show you how that looks and see if it works. All right, so here's what it looks, uh, like with uh, deep sockets all the way in the back back there as long you know as far as fitment goes um, the smaller ones are obviously not as hard to get out uh, they're not perfect I mean I, I put them in there but getting them out seems like 
not the easiest thing. It's not as easy as just coming over here and just going right out of there like that. Um, and then, you know, these bigger ones are definitely not easy to get out. So, I'm going to have to think about something to do with that. Um, I don't know how the hell I got that one in there. But, <clears throat> have to figure out something as far as that goes. Um, maybe what I'll do is just pull them forward because I do have a little bit of a gap here. Maybe I'll pull all these forward and stuff like that. That way they can all be accessed. So, let's see what that looks like. So, pull all these forward. So, now you'd be able to get to all of them. Um, some things I notice about the trays uh, about the organizers is the numbers. Um, I do like the fact that the numbers are down here. That way you don't have to try to look at a chrome socket like this and then you know you try to look at it at the perfect angle and see if you can see this poorly done laser etching. Uh, you have to catch it in just the right light. I mean I know you think uh, maybe it's just a camera but it looks like that in real life too. <laughs> um, you know if you have chrome sockets you know what I'm talking about. You get the glare on there and uh, you know they're not etched like those ones are, so I can see those perfectly. But, on the other hand, it's a good thing these are etched really well because if you try to see the numbers, they're back there. Um, so, maybe they could consider putting them here instead of behind them. Uh, you know, like I said, um, if you were to put deep sockets on here as well, um, you kind of run into the same issue. You wouldn't be able to see the numbers. Now, obviously, one fact of that is that you can obviously just run off these numbers in the front, which, uh, you know, kind of correlates to whether, um, you know, they should put them here and in the middle or maybe just in the middle. Um, and then um, I do like them in the front, though. That way when you're standing back here and you're going to reach into your box, um, you know, you can just go ahead and say, okay, I need this size. See, I'm down here at these half inch ones, I mean these three eighths inch ones, and I'm like, okay, I need blah, 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 and I need a half inch one, and there I go. Well, if you need a half inch deep socket, as long as you put it back where it goes, it's right there. Um, so, with the move forward, you can get access to anything um, in the back back there. So maybe I'll just use that little back space that's here for, um, you know, I have a really long extension here, so maybe I'll just, I don't know, do something back there. Um, again, it's pretty pretty small. I don't know if I could fit the uh, torque wrench back there without the case. I could try. So, it kind of fits. Um, only issue you run into is it rubs up against the sockets, when, these bigger ones when you try to take it out. So, a little bit of, a little bit of, a little bit of friction there. Um, so, we might do that, we might not, um, just a thought. And then, um, like I was saying, I will uh, probably be ordering some more of these for my impacts, and we'll probably put those over here. Um, that way we can have a drawer of sockets, and what I'll do with these empty spaces that aren't uh, kind of filled up is um, I have some extra stuff, um, like I had already had this. Uh, this is a cobalt, and then I have some older extra craftsman ones that are, you know, uh, the larger sizes that I salvaged and uh, from, you know, other sets. And then uh, these are all 3 8 over here. These are half inch, these are 3 8 extras. So your little stuff like this, adapters, you know, nonchalant, these came with some kind of Dewalt thing. Um, and then I have some of these. So. They'll go over here on these empty spaces, and um, if I ever do get sockets that fill those up, then I'll get them. So I'll probably get that socket and that socket because that will bug me. Um, and then obviously Tekton prides themselves on not skipping any sizes, but for some reason this is a size. Let's see what it is. One and three sixteenths, and that's not this. This is one and one quarter, which apparently is a popular size, but again, 
they skipped a the size. So, uh, yep. All right, so here's the final look of the drawer after I finished putting all the stuff, all the sockets back in there and organizing everything out. So basically what I did was um, I went out and got some half inch deep sockets for the metric and the standard. So we have those. And then uh, I just tucked my little inch pound <clears throat> metric, um, um, torque wrench back there. And um, so you can see I have some sizes missing here. And then, you know, some two sizes missing here. And a bunch over here. But with the extra space over here, I put some of these adapters. I have some torque adapters and some stuff like that. Um, sorry, some impact adapters. And uh, all my little extras I have, these are like shallow sockets, but they still fit on here. And extensions. So that's what I have over here. And then I organized all my impact sockets onto these old holders until I get some more of these. Um, so they do fit and the drawer does shut. So they'll work for now, but um, you know, they're not as easy to get off. So you, know, you have to pull really hard. And then I think, I'm not sure which one I was having. I think I was having trouble with the metric ones. They're really hard to get off, but they'll work for now. And then uh, we should be good to go. And I ended up just tucking these up here against this. Storing my torque wrench here for now. And we should be good to go. So here's an overall look. And um, I think I'm going to like them. So let me know what you all think about these. And if you have them in your toolbox or your tool cart or anything like that. Um, I will... Uh, tell you that these things uh, I think for a set of two of like these half inch ones it's like $25 um, and then I think it's about the same for the set of the 3 8 ones and um, these are a little bit different um, for the quarter inch I think like 10 or 15 so um, what I think it is I think like this standard is 25 the metric half inch is 25 so that's 50 and these might be 20 and these are like 10 or something like that because the whole set came out to 100 but even if you price out individually it's the same thing same price um, <clears throat> but when I bought these cobalt ones these rails right here they were at least $20 a piece and um, you know they didn't hold nearly as many sockets uh, so if you buy this, it can hold your shallow and your deep sockets in a full range of sizes. And this rail can only hold but so many. So for this one, I think we have, what, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you can only put 16 sockets on one of these. Um, but they don't make these anymore. I was looking up online to see if um, I could get the actual price of what I paid for them. But I know they were expensive. Uh, for these rails, um, when I got them, uh, it's probably it's been quite a few years. Um, so they have some different options in Lowe's now, but you know, just for a price comparison compared to some other stuff, you know, these are obviously more than the little plastic ones, but uh, you know, with the pegs on them, but they're going to last a lot, lot longer. And um, I think I'll be happy with them. And I think if you tried them out, you'd probably be happy with them too as well. Um, and seems like a pretty good storage option. So if you like this video, don't forget to like it and uh, share it. And then uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.